everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today, what I'm going to be doing is I have a lot of gravel in this 55 gallon, and I am going to be removing it and replacing it with crushed coral. I could still use this gravel, especially because it's seeded, and I have some tanks up here I want to aquascape, and I can use that gravel to co cover some of the dirt. There's a, a dirted tank. There's ADA soil tank. There's a couple other tanks that I just like the look of the dirt with the gravel on top. So I'm going to reuse this gravel but and put in here a crushed coral. Now this tank has an under gravel filter. It has a hang on the back filter and it has a sponge filter. A lot of filtration going on here because what lives in here is Louie, my diamondback terrapin. And after watching Dan the Guppy Man, his video, and if you don't know who he is, check him out in this link. Hmm. Not Lambuna. It's a cichlid. A turtle. No. Ah! I'm going to move the terrapin from the 55 upstairs to the 40 gallon, give him some crushed coral, move my ambunas downstairs into a bigger tank. Oh, I got to write this down before I forget. I got to write this down. Did you ever get this idea in the middle of the night while you're sound asleep and it's so brilliant, but when you wake up, you forgot it? <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving my Diamondback Terrapin, which is downstairs in a 55, a four foot long 55. It's going to come up here in a 40 gallon breeder. I'm going to move my Ambunas, which are getting larger all the time, from the 40 gallon breeder to the 55. Now what else am I going to do? So what I'm going to do is I move my Diamondback Terrapin upstairs with the crushed coral substrate. Then I'll move my Ambuna rocks downstairs on top of the under gravel filter. There and a hang on the back. I think it'll be fine. And a couple sponge filters. <laughs> and then all the turtles will be in one room. It makes it so much easier when you're feeding with food that they're all in the same spot. And then that'll free up the 40 gallon breeder upstairs. I can't remember where I was going with this. I had such a great idea of moving three of my fish around and everything had a perfect place. I wish I had written it down. Now I can only remember two. And I don't think I'd wake up in the middle of the night with such a brainstorm if it was just swapping the two. <laughs> I have solved all my fish problems <laughs> for this fish move and it was such a great idea and now I can't remember. Let's get started. So I was able to get the cichlids, the ambunas out of this tank and set this up for Louie, my diamondback terrapin. So now all my turtles are in the same room. Not in the same tank though, because Louie's a little rambunctious. He needs a girl terrapin his size. <laughs> but if you look up top, I don't know if you can see that, there's her basking and her UVB shining down. She's got plenty of places to hide, swim, and interact. I will probably put some platies in. So that's Louie. Let's go take a look at where the Ambunas went because this was the Ambuna tank. So now I'm going to sneak up on them because they're very skittish since the move. I think they're afraid I'm going to come in and take them out again. So they've been upgraded from the 40 gallon to this 55. I might have to set up the GoPro to, to show you. I might have to just set up the GoPro. Or wait till feeding time. Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming along with me while I changed out my Terrabin tank and ended up being a huge change from what I originally planned. So thanks for being so tolerant. 
Um, and sometimes moving things around, uh, my plan changes all the time. So thanks for checking out my Terrapin. I love the idea. Thanks Dan the Guppy Man for the crushed coral idea. I think that's going to be great. And I think the Ambunas, once they settle down, are going to love their new home. See you next time.